fairness, accountability, transparency, direction, performance, and participation. These are the principles promoted in the governance execution framework of the Performance Governance System or PGS. It is a management tool for local governments, civil society, and the private sector to work together on improving governance, service delivery, and community living standards. The PGS was the official adaptation of the balanced scorecard of the Harvard Business School as they have introduced the use of balanced scorecard to the Philippine public sector, which aims to raise the standards of public governance with the idea of contributing to national progress by teaching government institutions how to create, execute, and sustain effective development plans. This was spearheaded by the Institute for Solidarity in Asia, an independent nonprofit and nonpartisan advocacy organization founded in December 2000 and chaired by Dr. Jesus Stanislao until 2018. The survey says that 9 out of 10 companies fail to execute this strategy. They have identified four barriers in translating strategy into action. First, vision barrier. For an organization to be able to successfully execute its strategy, the whole workforce must know and understand the strategy especially to those who implement it. Second, people barrier. Most incentive compensation systems are not long-term initiatives that support strategy execution. Third, resource barrier. Many companies or organizations budgeting and strategic planning functions are not linked. And since budgets are the traditional tools for planning the allocation of human and financial resources, the strategic plans and strategic initiatives may fall short in terms of necessary resources. Fourth, management barrier. Monthly operations review must be conducted to bridge the gap between the higher authorities and the rank and file employees. But since budgets are often not linked to strategic plan, the discussions may completely avoid any focus on the true value drivers in the institution. In 2003, Fortune magazine repeated its claim that it is not that the managers can formulate good strategy, it is the execution that lacks. Through the performance governance system, the AFP Transformation Roadmap was born, where good governance is our ultimate goal as the AFP continues to transform while we perform. The AFP TR is a 15-year strategy that aims to transform the AFP into a strong and credible institution built on good governance. It serves as the AFP strategy in pursuing reform initiatives within the framework of security sector reform. It is geared towards two strategic priorities, capability development and professionalization of all ranks. The AFP has set two base camps, Base Camp 2016, which aimed to become a mission-capable AFP, and the Base Camp 2022, with a breakthrough goal of a strong and sustainable armed forces of the Philippines, contributing to regional peace and sustainability. These base camps serve as building blocks in coming up with coherent and cohesive strategy towards the realization of a world-class armed forces source of national pride by 2028. The Western Mindanao Command, through the Office of the Assistant Chief of Unified Command Staff for Plans, U5, was tasked to attend a series of major workshops facilitated by the Institute of Solidarity in Asia to craft the command's charter statement, strategy map, and performance scorecard, which are part of the strategy formulation. Today, Western Mindanao Command has successfully attained significant milestone in our journey towards transformation and reform. We were conferred the initiated status in the institutionalization pathway by the Office for Strategic Studies and Strategy Management 
on 15 December 2015 and obtained the compliance status on 15 December 2016. Preparations are now being undertaken towards attaining proficiency institutionalization status within this year. The WNCTR is composed of three key components, Charter Statement, Strategy Map, and West Mecom Governance Scorecard. These three key components encapsulate the command strategy to achieve the AFP's ultimate vision of becoming a world-class armed forces. The West Mincom Scorecard for Base Camp 2016 contains 13 strategic objectives founded on four perspectives. Constituency, core process, learning and growth, and finance and logistics. With the attainment of the compliance status, West Mincom formulated the strategy map for Base Camp 2022. The strategy map contains 15 strategic objectives founded on four perspectives capacity and resources, capability, core approach, and focus perspective. The Western Indiana Command's focus objective is anchored on its constitutional mandate to secure the sovereignty of the state and integrity of national territory which aims to make well-informed communities that can resist exploitation of the enemy and responsibility in maintaining peace and contribute to their development. The core approach contains the national military objectives lifted from the NMS. This is to ensure that West Mincom is able to successfully hurdle the challenges of various national security threats continuously and regularly evaluate the campaign being implemented by the command. On the conduct of joint and or combined exercises, West Mincom needs to capacitate the organization and its personnel in joint and combined planning and operations. It is likewise vital to strengthen its international cooperation with strategic partner countries through multilateral arrangements or agreements. Capability Perspective is anchored on the five pillars of the AFP Modernization Program and the assessment tools of doctrine, organization, personal, training, leadership, material, and facilities. Lastly, under the Capacity and Resource Perspective are the building blocks towards our 2022 goals. The strategic objectives in our capacity and resources will address the gaps to put us in a better position to perform our core approaches that would deliver the outcome objectives. These outcome objectives are the outputs which our stakeholders expect from us. All these strategic objectives will drive the attainment of the focus objective that is to create a peaceful, conflict-resilient, and developed communities and defeat communist terrorist group and local terrorist group. The West Mincom Performance Scorecard 2022 contains 15 strategic objectives, 20 performance measures, offices that are primarily responsible for the monitoring and implementation of accomplishments on target set, and 36 strategic initiatives or the strategic programs. The AFP through the Transformation Roadmap aims to advance and promote the culture of jointness so that all its units, offices, major services, AFP WSSUs, and the UCs will be able to work seamlessly and in unity towards one goal, to become a world-class armed forces and a source of national pride.